Anthony Sheriff TK Water said a tip came in from the community group Sheriff's Watch, which led to an undercover investigation and eventually the search warrant and arrests. Waters said he's grateful to community members who help law enforcement. Sheriff's Office. Ready? Yep. Sheriff's Office. Two weeks after that raid, the home on Fire Tower Road is quiet. Sheriff TK Waters said nine people were arrested, six guns were seized, and a drug manufacturing operation was stopped, all because of the tip JSO received through the Sheriff's Watch program. We are the eyes for the Jacksonville Sheriff's Office. Members of the Sheriff's Watch joined Waters in the press conference to announce the arrests. Stand up. Communication between the public and the police is at the heart of community policing. We cannot, and I'll repeat it, we cannot do the important work that we do without the public's cooperation. B.J. Butler lives on the west side and is part of the Sheriff's Watch district that told JSO about drug activity at the home on Fire Tower Road. Glad to say that, to hear that they got this operation off the streets so they don't harm any of our communities. Well, I'm very proud of that. Neighbors in the area didn't want their face shown on camera for fear of retribution, but said they would often find needles in their yards and constant drug traffic on their street. One neighbor even said her relative used to live next door to the home but moved because of the constant drug activity. But since the arrests? Ground. Get on the ground. Get on the ground. You know, past two weeks, I haven't really seen a lot of things, so maybe that did help with a lot of the traffic that was coming. Waters said he's proud to collaborate with the community. There's no bigger group or no better group in this city than law abiding citizens and the police when they come together because we outnumber the people that, that, that mean harm to this community. We have more information about the Sheriff's Watch program within this story on our website, as well as information about upcoming meetings. Reporting live outside of JSO headquarters in downtown Jacksonville, Rich Donnelly, First Coast News, on your side.